Hello, King staff and families. I'm Greg Sears, superintendent. And as we navigate the last few days before our holiday break, I wanna take a few moments just to provide a quick update and also some shout outs to some um, important groups of folks. First of all, uh, last night at our regularly scheduled Board of Education meeting, the Board of Education unanimously voted to remove the mask requirement for students in grades pre-K through six, starting on Tuesday, January 18th. Our students will still be required to wear a mask right after break, um, but then on January 18th, we will go to a mask optional district. We are still strongly encouraging our students to wear a mask um, and we'll continue to utilize all of the mitigation strategies that we currently have in place. Please understand this decision did not come without careful consideration, discussion, and thoughtful analysis of the feedback provided from our parents in our community. Um, the mask requirement will remain on our school buses and school transportation as that is a federal requirement and not something that we can change at this point. We appreciate your understanding and all of your efforts to remain diligent um, as we continue to offer in-person learning for our students. As we end our first semester, I would like to take a few moments to provide some superintendent shout outs to some groups of folks that are just doing some great work. First, I'd like to recognize our performing arts staff and all of our students who performed in some of the amazing holiday concerts that we had over the past few weeks. From the symphonic band to the Philharmonic Orchestra to all of our elementary concerts, I am blown away by the talent of our students in our district. I'm also thankful for our incredible staff that dedicated their time, energy, and effort into creating these awesome experiences for our students. The products were amazing, and we appreciate all of your work um, to create amazing experiences for our students and to spread some holiday cheer throughout our community. My next shout out is for all the teachers and paraprofessionals in our district. We are so appreciative of all of your efforts this entire semester, navigating many challenges, all while maintaining a high academic environment in our district. Each classroom, you have navigated those challenges. You have spent extra time, energy, and effort to grow our students, um, not only academically, um, but personally as well. We really appreciate all your efforts. You deserve um, a big shout out from us, and we hope that you get an opportunity over the next couple of weeks to take some time off, relax, decompress, and get ready to go for the second semester. Again, we thank you for all of your work. I truly believe that King's is the place to be, in large part due to our nurses, our custodians, our bus drivers, our administrative assistants, our cafeteria workers each and every day. So I wanted to give a shout out to all of those individuals who have done just incredible work this year, um, leaning in, supporting each other, navigating staffing shortages, but every day delivering phenomenal services to our students and families. We appreciate your efforts and all that you do to make Kings the place to be. Last but not least, we wanna give a big shout out to all the students in our district. You are the reason we are here, the reason we come to work every day is we love watching you compete athletically, grow academically, and perform artistically. Your efforts have been tremendous. We appreciate your engagement, your enthusiasm, your support for one another. We wanna give you a shout out because we are so proud of the work you do each and every day. As we look to turn the calendar to 2022, I'm extremely excited about the future of King's School District. Over the next year, we wanna grow in our ability to live out our King's strong culture of relate, create, innovate. We wanna to relate to cultivate trust. We wanna create exceptional working and personalized learning experiences. And we wanna innovate solutions for tomorrow's problems. There's a great opportunity for us to build on our level of personalized learning, to give our kids the skills and abilities to compete and be prepared for life beyond the walls of our school district. Again, I'm very excited about this. I look forward to it. And the future is incredibly bright in King's local schools.